Three people arrested at a downtown Denver hotel, the Maven Hotel, during All-Star Weekend were in federal court today. Prosecutors laid out details of what they say was a guns and drug deal. Gary Broad spent the day in court and joins us to break down what happened. Gary? And those three men were in front of a federal judge earlier today. And as the judge read them their rights, we found out all three of them could be facing 10 years in prison. A week to the day after their arrest at the Maven Hotel, Ricardo and Gabriel Rodriguez, along with Richard Platt, were in federal court. Platt and Gabriel Rodriguez wearing the same clothes from their mug shots. All three men facing a federal charge of possession of a firearm by a prohibited person. On top of that, Gabriel Rodriguez faces an additional federal charge of possession with intent to distribute methamphetamine. I was there to drop off a pound of dope, some heroin, and I'm sorry, I had a gun on me. That's what dope dealers do. That was Gabriel Rodriguez speaking to Denver 7 from the Denver jail on Monday before the U.S. attorney took over the case. Unsealed court documents obtained by Denver 7 show Ricardo Rodriguez was arrested with three guns in his room. Eight guns were found in Platt's room. Platt also showed investigators pictures he says Ricardo Rodriguez sent of him of the guns. Ricardo is seen in one of those pictures holding one. I was there because I was going to go, I mean, on Monday, I was going to fly my children and I was going to go to the show, go to the game. That was Ricardo Rodriguez on Monday, maintaining he had no intentions of what police suspected might have been preparations for a mass shooting. The Maven Hotel is just a block from Coors Field and home of the All-Star Game. Documents show Platt told investigators Ricardo Rodriguez had mentioned going to Mexico and shooting people, and had also talked about killing people and putting people down. In a statement sent to Denver 7 on Friday, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Colorado says there is currently no evidence of any intent or plan to disrupt or commit violence by these defendants in connection with the MLB All-Star festivities. A Platt also told investigators his girlfriend, who was the fourth person arrested in this case, had nothing to do with any of the deals. She was arrested on an outstanding warrant. She remains in a Denver jail. All three men are due back in court here next week. Reporting live here in Denver, I'm Gary Broad for Denver 7.